Hi, Don here. I will start by not telling you that I'm the world's greatest chef and that these are the best barbecued burgers in the world. I will tell you that my family really loves these burgers and I'll show you a few simple techniques so that you can enjoy them as well. I will show you what I do, including the barbecue I prefer to use, ingredients, and cooking technique. Try it and see what you think. Then change things around to tailor the technique to fit your taste and equipment. For ultimate flavor, a charcoal barbecue works the best. I prefer the Weber kettle type barbecue. This model has a handy table and a timer attached, which is quite nice. The kettle itself is the same one that has been around for years. You may have another charcoal barbecue that you prefer, and that's okay. I open the air vents all the way and light the charcoal. I like to use the chimney style charcoal lighter with the gas assist on my grill. This gets the charcoal bed ready to go in a fair amount of time without adding the smell and taste of charcoal lighter fluid. I fill a tin can half full of water and let the mesquite chips soak in it while I'm preparing the meat. Mesquite smoke adds a wonderful flavor to beef that you are quite sure to love. Your charcoal should be hot and ready to go now. Make an even layer of charcoal and add mesquite chips, then place the grill on top. If the quantity of burgers allows it, Place half the coals on one side of the barbecue and leave the other half open to the air. Otherwise, spread the coals out evenly. I let the grill warm up, then I clean it with a brush. To get really good burgers, you have to start with high quality grass-fed ground beef. The cheap stuff just doesn't quite have the flavor. The next ingredient is finely chopped mushrooms. Mushrooms, you say? Yes, mushrooms. I use about one-third finely chopped criminy mushrooms with the ground beef. I have found that it enhances the flavor, keeps the burgers from drying out, and they seem to help me and my family digest the burgers. Criminy mushrooms, or Agaricus bisporus, add copper, selenium, vitamins B2, B3, and B5 to your diet. Mushrooms can help with cancer prevention and also gastrointestinal health. You can take it from me. I'm a doctor. Use granulated garlic, lemon pepper, and Montreal beef flavoring along with an egg to help hold it all together. Now you'll need to combine all the ingredients in a large bowl. Mix it up by hand. It's a yucky job, but somebody's got to do it. Mix it all up good, then grab a handful and flatten it into a burger and set it in a tray. Repeat until you have all your burgers flattened and ready for the grill. Try to get them all roughly the same size and thickness so that they all cook the same. Use the tray for raw meat only. And a new tray for the cooked burgers. You can also line the tray with wax paper, foil, or plastic wrap. Now, back out to the grill. Okay. Your grill should be hot and ready to go. Sprinkle the mesquite chips over the hot coals and place the can of water near the back of the grill. This will keep your burgers from drying out. If you can use only half the grill, you can start by searing the burgers directly over the hot coals for about two minutes. Flip the burgers after two minutes and let them sear for about two minutes on the other side. After both sides have been seared over the hot coals, move all the burgers to the other side of the grill, then put the cover back on, ensuring the vent is directly over the burgers. This will draw the heat and smoke from the opposite side of the grill over the burgers and out the top, letting them smoke but not burn. Let them cook for about four minutes. Close the bottom vent about halfway to reduce the heat and let them smoke for about 10 minutes. You can catch up on backyard chores while the burgers are cooking. With a can of water, heat on one side, and mushrooms for moisture, your burgers will be moist and bursting with flavor that you and your family are sure to enjoy. Bon appetit!